How is it going everyone? I'm Jim from Jim Shape Coding. I hope you did well with the last episode where we learned about conditions and how to turn them into Python code with if statements. On this one, I want to make sure that you are aware of every operation you can do with the if statement. As we remember, we created if statement where we only checked if some variable is equal to something else. Well, today we are going to learn more than just checking equation like in the code you see here. So we have a code here where we check if episode is equal to 12 and if it is, we are going to get back you are right as you see we do because this is a true condition. So today we are going to learn more than the double equal sign and let me print what else we have in any programming language that we can use as a condition. Okay, so first of all, we have the double equal sign, which is checking if something is equal to something else. And then we have not equal to, which is replaced in the first with the exclamation mark, and then an equal sign once again. And we have greater and greater than or equal to, less than and less than or equal to, which are really same in math operations if you are going to check if some number is bigger than something else and so on. So let's have a little example to show off some of the operators. So let's say that we have a water price that is equal to $7 and we want to check if this water price is expensive. And in my opinion, if I find a bottle of water that its price is more than $5, I find it expensive. So let's type a variable that it's called is expensive and check if the water price is actually expensive or not. So how we can do that? We have something in Python that is called expression. Now an expression is something that you check and is going to return you a true or a false. And we can do something like water price is equal to and or greater than, sorry, greater than or equal to five. All right. So and then if I'm going to print is expensive, it is going to give me a true or a false. And, and actually, in this case, it is just going to give me a true because 7 is greater than 5. But if I would change the sign here to less than or equal to like this, then I would get back false. OK, so this is called an expression. And now what you can do is actually something like if is expensive is equal to true then i want to print a message that this bottle is too expensive all right so if i print it in this case this is not going to return me anything because is expensive is actually false so let's write an l statement right there and print something like i can buy this bottle all right and then i'm going to get back this message because this returns me false and if I just change it back like this and run it this will give me back this bottle is too expensive now what I want to show you is actually something really beautiful in Python that makes it more readable if I remove this part from the expression and execute this Python is going to act the same way but why what is going on here well what Python does Right after you write an if statement and hit the spacebar, by default, whatever expression you are going to write, it is going to check if it is true. So you don't have to mention that you check if your variable is equal to true because Python does it for you in any case. So this proves once again why Python is so special. And if I want to take that one step further, if I add a keyword that's called not here, this is going to check the opposite case and it is just going to check if it's not expensive, then print it, I can buy this bottle. But this is not our case, so we want to remove that. Just for your information, I want to show you the not expression that you can use it in an if statement also. So let me delete all the work we did here and finish up with a last operation that is called in. And what in is going to do is something really useful also. Let's say that we write a name that is called Jim. And I want to check if a specific letter is actually exist 
in my string. So for this case, I can use the in operation in order to check if, for example, an i is existing in my string. So I can go with something like exist equal to Let's take the i letter here and use it as string and check if it's inside my name. So you see, this is also a good way to use a condition in Python. And if I print the exist, which is an expression, this is going to return me true because i is actually inside Jim. But if I ended up with writing here a t or something like that, this is going to give me back false because there is no t inside my name. So this is pretty much it about all the operations you have in an if statement in order to make conditions and check them. We will learn about the else if method in the next episode, so stay tuned. And don't forget to smash the like button and crack the subscribe button up. I will see you in the next one.